Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Once again, it's Joy Toy Warhammer 40k time. It is Sunday, the 2nd of July 2023, and we're looking at this Sisters of Battle Celestine the Living Saint, uh, Gemini Suprina 1 and Gemini Suprina 2, all from Adepta Sororitas, if I pronounced that right. Uh, <laughs> look very cool, have to say. Look very nice on the publicity shots we saw a little while ago. So here's Celestine the Living Saint. Very nice. I love the eyes on that. But whether they'll look the same when in hand in a second, we'll find out. Does look pretty good. Nice flight stand. Looks like she can do some nice dynamic posing. Looking forward to this. And then Gemini Suprema 1 and 2. Pretty much almost identical. Just different head sculpts mainly, I think. Maybe a couple of other small details, but they are the side attraction to Celestine the Living Saint main attraction. Now, I just recently reviewed the Blood Angel Terminators, and honestly, it's a bit hard to get excited by these after reviewing those because those were amazing. But I'm hoping I'll be wrong, and these will be absolutely fantastic too. If you like sort of content and we'll see that as soon as uploaded, please consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen now. You get to see everything as soon as it's uploaded and you don't have to wait around two weeks, three weeks, one month, sometimes longer, sometimes less to see stuff. And it's free for seven days and after seven days you can decline to continue to join any longer and will have cost you absolutely nothing so it is worth checking that out. Okay, I'm going to unbox these, set them up. I'll be back in the instant. Stay tuned. Okay, here they are. First impressions look stunning but unpractical. Unpractical in terms of being a toy. Um, difficult for the Gemini, the uh, Sup Suprema Geminis, or is it Gemini Supreme? Gemini Supremes to stand without the flight stand. I mean, she can, they can. Uh, impossible for Celestine Living Estate to stand without, with the flight stand because that wing backpack, it just makes her fall backwards. You have to be leaning over, almost touching her toes to stay upright. But they look amazing. Okay, so let's look at the... Gemini Supremas, or sorry, the uh, Gemini Superiors, I should say, one and two. So one is in my hand here, yeah, in the left, and two is in the right. They all come with flight stands, but I didn't put flight stands on number two here. Let's get a bit of a focus going on. Very cool, not quite the same. Head slightly different, though similar. Swords appear the same, guns the same, backpacks the same, most the same. Both come with this, uh, say parchment, but I didn't attach it to number two here or the flight stand. They do look good. Celestine the Living Saint. These sort of doves just sort of balance on the hand, so getting a nice. Pose that can be a bit difficult. The eyes are okay. Not quite as good as she could have been, perhaps, but still a nice looking figure, has to be said. I love the way that they hang down so nicely from her cloak. Uh, the actual wings are really nice, but they feel like they're a bit brittle. But it'd be nice to have a spare pair for a Customs for something else, like for I don't know, a DC is it Hawk, uh, not Hawk, what's it called? I can't remember his name now. Uh, one of the DC guys, or so you know, you could do like a Marvel customs as well with these, or sci fi fantasy. Very, very nice indeed. Great looking figure, but just not very practical. It's definitely a display piece as opposed to a play, play, play piece. But very very cool. The uh, the Gemini's Superior one and two both comes with left trigger, another left gripping, and fists for left and right. Uh, articulation for all of them is going to be slight. Well, for the Superior is going to be the same. The Celestian a little bit different. Looking at that in a second. So let's look at articulation. So head to toe. So head. Really good left and right, really good side to side, really good forwards backwards. 
on the pack. It'd be nice if he splayed out, but there's nothing on the jetpack backpack. Arms sh won't go all the way around because the shoulder pauldron, plus you've got the backpack in the way. To the side, they go over 45 degrees. There is a bicep swivel, which is all right, shoulder swivel. The bicep bend is uh, 90. Wrist will rotate, find where the joint is, and you can articulate as well. Trunk is a turn, small forwards back, a small side to side. There is, it appears to be no waist turn on these. Hips, not so far, but still okay. Forwards is all right. Backwards is impressive, but it does go out to the side a little bit. There is a thigh twist. There is a double kneecap. You get very, very tight. A little bit ugly in the knee, but it's not so bad. It's hidden by that gold kneecap underneath. The feet, there is no boot turn. There is a swivel. Small tippy toe and small dorsi flexation needs more of more of both of those i'll take this part off to really make her better so if i stand her with her feet like this she's going to fall backwards less one foot forwards or she's really leaning forwards far because the weight of that jetpack now imagine that is the uh celestine the living saint and she ain't going to stand up forwards at all her articulation is basically the same you have got these extra wires that actually take any articulation away but she does also have the wings do rotate. So you can have her like this, you can have her like this, you can have her backwards like that. So that's quite nice. Um, just a plug in as you can see. With the Superior 1 and 2, they come as one piece in the box. We can also unplug their jetpack backpacks too if you want. Very nice looking figures. I'll unplug this now. Unplug that as well from her. Really nice looking figure. Uh, obviously, it becomes practical once you take the wings off, but that kind of loses a lot of the uh, aesthetic appeal. Let's get the stand up over here. Along with this one, who I posed earlier to hopefully stand up. And we'll get an idea of height. So Celestine is around about 11 maybe, and the superiors are around about nearly 11. So about the same height. They do look pretty good, has to be said. Very nice looking figures, just a touch impractical Celestine with the wings, or very impractical with the wings, though she looks fantastic with them. So it's a case of, do you want to go for, you know, practical with your toy and play with it a bit more and then display with the wings or just display with the wings and go from there quick comparison so i've got a blood angels intercessor here who towers above the sisters of battle as you can see but you would expect that anyway if i take him away if i use a marvel scroll one of their cheap ones fantastic faces on these scrolls and their shading and you can see that they are around about the same size it's about it's probably a little bit taller nice figures good release i but i can see the cells suffering a bit since they came out at the same time as the uh, as the blood angel terminated but we will see what happens but none nice figures nonetheless i do like these stand up for me yeah. need more dorsiflexation still Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I'm signing out, so please like, share, subscribe. Uh, check out the Patreon, link in the video description below, along with discount codes, discount links from the better 118 scale sellers who also sell other scales as well. And I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.